Hello, it's got a ukulele. It's review day. Remember, this is just a summary review. Read that in the link below. You'll get more detail, pictures, that kind of thing. Um, this is one I've been really looking forward to because there's been such a buzz about them in the ukulele world. Um, and it's quite an unusual one. This is the Close Guitars um, Carbon Fibre Tenor Ukulele. And no guessing what it's made from. Um, Close Guitars are the brainchild of brothers uh, Adam and Ian Klozowiak. I hope I've got that name pronounced right. I'm sorry, guys. And a partner, Jacob Sheffield, who are based in Utah, uh, Salt Lake City in Utah, who a few years ago came up with the idea of a carbon fiber built guitar for travel to withstand the harsh winters there in, in Salt Lake City. Uh, and it went on to be really successful. And over the last year, they've also they've since de decided to develop that concept to release a ukulele. And over the last year, they've been running an Indiegogo campaign um, where people can pre-order at a discounted price their ukulele before they launch properly. That's just coming to an end now, and they sent me this one to take a look at. Um, and it is quite interesting. Um, so a lot of the conventions of standard ukulele building are going to go out the window here because this is made of carbon fiber. Uh, not false carbon fiber like some of the uh, carbon fiber faux carbon fiber cases are this is the real deal This is the stuff that's used in the automotive industry aircraft industry sporting goods that kind of thing um, so it's it's uh, a Weave of carbon threads in a resin which is incredibly light incredibly hard Incredibly strong. I'm not going to go into the detail of how strong this is some of you if you're if you're around the ukuleles a bit you'll have seen the close videos where they drive over these with a the truck and hit them with a the hammer and that kind of thing very strong material they're not the first brand to use carbon fiber on a ukulele blackbird actually did it a few years back before they moved on to ecoa but that's good choice i think uh, there's you know there's no reason why they can't make one out of carbon fiber so basically, like the Blackbirds, you've got a sort of one-piece moulded back and sides, which is all one bowl, and dropped into that is a top of um, carbon fibre. Uh, the carbon fibre on the top is slightly different because they wanted to try and replicate the tone of wood, so it's actually a sandwich of two sheets of carbon fibre with a thinner resin in the middle. Um, and that means it's matte on the top and kind of glossy on the back and sides, but note, there's no finish on this at all. They make a point of saying that. This is as it comes out the mold. This is what it looks like. Uh, and I like it for that. Um, it's a standard double pouch shape. Not much more to say because there's no more decoration. And why would you need more decoration when your ukulele is, looks like a Formula One car brake disc? Um, the bridge is made of black wood and it's a slotted style. Now I think these have developed over time. Uh, since the Indiegogo started. I think they were through body to start with. This is what you get now I'm told that this is the current model uh, And that's fitted with a straight topped new bone saddle uh, Not much more to say looking inside. I can't see very much because it's very black But what you will have spied is this sound hole pickup I'll come on to, to why that's there in a moment because that's an option uh, But other than that, I can't really tell what's going on inside because it's so black I think there's a black carbon fiber brace here. There may be a brace here. I don't know uh, what it does show me is the top is really thick, but I'm not going to judge it for that because this isn't made of wood, so and it's really resonant. So you know it's that thickness for a material for a reason, and I think it's because it's so lightweight in the middle. Maybe that doesn't matter. We'll come on to that when we play it. The neck, I believe, is made of mahogany. I don't know how many pieces it is because it's finished in a black paint. Uh, it's a bit overly rounded, fairly flat up at the top, not too bad. Uh, a little narrow for my taste at the nut because that's about 36 mil across 27 G to A. I think that could have been a bit wider for me. Uh, you get a black uh, blackwood fingerboard, which is in good condition, fitted with 19 frets with 14 to the body. And you get position markers in dots at 5, 7, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Thankfully, they're repeated on the side. Uh, that's all very nice. The fret, the, the neck is uh, edge bound in black but by the look of it and there are no sharp edges. Uh, beyond that new bone nut, the first gripe I've got with it really is the headstock size. It just, I don't know why it's so small. I think they may have used this design on the guitars because the guitar was designed to be taken apart for ease of travel, putting it in a case. This doesn't come apart and I don't see what you're really saving here and because it's so small I can't kind of find it looks a bit busy up there. That cloth logo is in pearl and inlaid. Uh, the tuners are unbranded seal gears with white buttons. They're not overly big, but they look overly big. 
because the headstock's so small. Uh, I don't really like that. Um, other than that, though, completing the deal, these are Daddario nylon strings, and this is where things get a bit complicated. Um, at the moment, they're on an Indiegogo, and the standard acoustic can be yours for 439 if you pre-order it. That's dollars. This is the electro acoustic, which includes a, uh, a Fishman pickup with uh, a sound hole control here, and there's the jack socket down there. And that pushes the price up to 499 or you can get a deluxe model which puts a different pickup in one with the side controls i don't consider that to be an upgrade i wouldn't want side controls but you also get things like black strap buttons and uh, black graph tech nut and saddle which i would want but you only get that if you get the pickup that i wouldn't want and you also get fluorocarbon strings instead of nylon um that's all changing anyway because when the indiegogo finishes they're going to start selling them through their website and I don't quite know what the pricing is going to be after the discounts have gone, but I believe the standard acoustic is going to be $499, and it's that price and that model that I'm effectively judging this on for the review, and I don't think that's a bad price. It's put together extremely well. Um, it's not as light as I thought it would be, being carbon fibre, but that's not to say it's heavy. If you're expecting to pick this up and it sort of float away into the ether, it's not that light. But it's light enough, uh, and it's really nicely balanced. The joints and the construction everywhere, I can't find a fault with it at all. It does pick up fingerprints, but you can't criticise it for that. Um, but I have no idea what carbon fibre is supposed to sound like. What it does sound like, it, well, first of all, it's got terrific volume. So that top, doesn't matter how thick it is. It's really good volume really punchy i've had to control the volume on this one on the uh, on the mixer the sustain is good not outstanding but good good enough and it's a lot brighter than i expected it to sound this is a high g be interested to know what it sounds like with the low g because i'm not saying it's overly bright but it's bright and maybe that's the carbon fiber sound but one thing it doesn't sound like doesn't sound like a lunchbox doesn't sound plastic it kind of sounds like what it is, and I rather like it. really nice strum there's kind of a, a shimmery harmonics going on uh, I really like that it's even brighter when you pick it understandably perhaps struggling to find fault with it um, it's a very good price um, when you consider the blackbird uh, carbon fibers were kind of top twice this money four nine nine dollars not bad uh, at all I'd live with the headstock I just think it looks a little bit strange I'd like different strings I wouldn't opt for the pickup myself I prefer passives and I'm not sure why the one with the side mounted controls is considered an upgrade or a deluxe compared to this one I wouldn't want all that wiring in there, but it's not really a criticism. Incidentally, I've plugged it in, it works just fine. Um, but as a really strong, I'm not gonna drive over it in a car or hit it with a hammer because it's not mine. Um, but I believe them, carbon fiber is proven to be very, very strong. It works as an instrument material. This is gonna be 
of interest to a lot of people. As I say, if you can get in quick now on the Indiegogo, I think you're getting them at a discounted price, but they're very quickly going to switch over to that deal being over and they're going to start selling them as they are. The Close guitars, carbon fibre, tenor ukulele, from a made in uh, America in Salt Lake City in Utah. I really like this and it gets a good score. Read the full review below, you'll get a lot more detail. Consider the Patreon, helps keep this site going. And other than that, I will see you again next week with something else quite unusual. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, you get a gig bag with it as well. See you soon. Take care.